in a time where there is lots of you know religious bigotry it's almost perfect to have this counterbalance my sister Rashida and I from the heartland of, of America um, be elected to Congress it's a, a, a real rejection of, of that message As we were driving here, I made the trip into our, what would be our, our new home when we came um, to, to the United States, to Arlington, Virginia, um, taking the same path as we, we were driving today. And, you know, just 20 some years later, I am here as a, as a representative um, for our state, to our Congress. I represent a district that's nearly 70% white. And Congressman Keith Ellison uh, used to represent this district. The question that is never asked of a white candidate when they represent a minority majority district <laughs> is that, how did you win your election? So I just want to say, right, in a new era where we are focused on talking about what's at stake for the people that we represent, I hope that kind of question is one that we never ask in the same way that I hope we are never continuously talking about the firsts. Thank you. The fact that we have diverse backgrounds, that some of us are mothers, some of us are queers, you know, what, whatever the case might be, that, that those things are just a bonus that helps us have uh, a unique lens in, into creating a policy that is, that is more impactful. I know every single person is very focused on whether we are voting for Nancy or not, but really for me that's not the focus. The focus is whether or not Nancy becomes our speaker, how does everything else fit and what does our agenda really look like. I think about the days where I would go with, with my grandfather and community members translating for them to participate um, and making that process accessible and I know none of them could have ever imagined having you know their um, the young kids they brought with them being on that ballot uh, one day and getting the opportunity to vote for them. 